Hey, if you're not if you're not requesting DJ Unsolvable, your party is not there. You're missing out. You're, you're missing not, out. If you don't request DJ Unstoppable, you're missing out. He's the <laughs> best. He's so lit. Book him now. <laughs> Thank you. behind the scenes with your boy check out your girl DJ Unstoppable what's going on guys it's been a while well for you guys but not for me I'm DJing every Saturday as a matter of fact you know what I'm always doing gig logs but I never put them out why don't I put them out why seriously I don't even know myself I don't know but as you can see I got all the DJ gig gear back there you see this right here EVs those are not EVs those are uh, QSCs K what the hell are they called? I don't know why I go blank. You see, this is one of the reasons why I don't share the gig logs. Because I go blank. Whatever, this is the Q QSC 12 inches. Why, does, why, why do I have the EV covers on it? Because they're expensive, guys. I recently purchased uh, two QSC subs and two QSC tops. Wow, just for the bags alone, just to, for the covers alone is $400. And if you want to sponsor me with some bags, hit me up. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm carrying these bags. But as you can see, I got everything. Oh, there we go. Woo! It made an appearance. There's the QSC sub, the KS118. And this is one. Come on, listen. Think, think, think. It's the QSC K12.2. There we go. Hey. Nice. Chingon. Yeah, right now we are on the 10 freeway going to Mira Loma for a wedding. How did this client find me? She found me through I believe Instagram, right? Yeah, she found me through Instagram. You see, guys, that's why I say I always emphasize in my previous videos, guys, open an Instagram. And if you open an Instagram, don't make it private. I've a lot of, I've tried to reach out to a lot of DJs because I, as you've seen in my previous videos, I need DJs to work for me. I need to send them out there. So I, I try to look for DJs on Instagram, I hit them up, but their accounts are private. Why do you make it private? Don't you want other people to see your work instead of having to request you and just wait for you to prove it? Make it public. Why you do it private? I don't understand that. But yeah, she found me through Instagram, so we're gonna go exactly out of ranch. I like and I dislike ranches, why? Because sometimes it's a mess. There's a lot of dirt. My equipment gets all dirty. But, uh, you know what, let me tell you a little bit. This is actually, it's not his house. They rent out this ranch slash house for events, for big events. We Googled it real quick. Beautiful house. But, I got all the equipment. Let me, let me get to the venue, to the venue. You see, you see, I always keep messing up on my DJ gig logs and when I go back home, try to edit everything for you guys, I'm like, nah, I keep messing up, so that's why I don't put them out. But regardless, this video is gonna I'm gonna put it out regardless of how much how much I mess up. Hey, I'm not the best YouTube host. I'm I'm a great DJ, but not the best YouTube host. So, all right, guys, let's go to the wedding. Let's see what's going on. Look at I got myself into. All right, guys, we just uh, arrived to our location. Watch, follow me. Whoa, this place is huge, and they decorated very very nice. Look at this. Wow, it's almost like a living room type of chill atmosphere over there. Watch, let me show you. I'm gonna be set up right here, watch. Caddy corner right here. I already spoke to the owner. Uh, we got 20 amps right here, 20 amp circuit. Another 20 amps right there. But check this out. Like I always tell you guys, it's a lot of work being a DJ. First one's in, last one's out. As you can see, nobody's here. Nobody, nadie, zero, nothing. This is gonna be the bar right here. It's a very nice place. Like, let me show you the main table, watch, follow. Look at this, beautiful. In the city of Mira Loma. Check this out, watch, little walk. Through. Let me show you guys, nice. I got a few minutes to spare. You see, I'm doing this for you guys. I should be sending up right now, but no, I made extra time for you guys. So that's why you should subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. And hey, share my videos, tell your friends, tell your tias, tell your grandma, tell everybody. Come here. 
Get this. <sighs> nice. All right, guys. Let's go set out because we're on limited time. I'm out, guys. Guys, to make it much easier for you, as you can see in the back, I try not to clutter the middle part where it's going to be my workspace. Because sometimes I've noticed in the past, sometimes we're so quick to unload that we, we stuff the, the things uh, everywhere, which it gets everywhere, it gets in the way. So to make it much easier for you, don't just make a space for yourself so that way you're not tripping or, you know, like where's your moving things, where's this, where's that. Look, makes it easy for me. I'm helping you guys out. Once again, subscribe. I posted my brand new speakers on Instagram and surprisingly, a lot of guys hit me up that how do I mount these lights on top of the QSCs? As you can see, hey, great design by QSC. Great design. I actually went to the hardware store. Hey, once again, for you guys, I'm doing this for you guys. All right, the measurements. Check this out, it's this one right here. The measurements, it's eight millimeter metric by 20. Remember that, watch, so simple. Seriously, surprising an amount of people hit me up. As a matter of fact, you know what, QSC, the actual QSC page on Instagram, they shared, they shared my post, and wow, I got a lot of response off of that. And also there, also there, I had multiple people ask, how do I mount it up there? So, check this out, I'm gonna do this for you guys. I have, I have, look, two, four, six, eight sets. For the three of you guys, drop a comment, I'll send you. Two bolts straight from your house, delivered by, no, not delivered by me. Mailed by DJ Unstoppable. Just hit me up, drop a comment, and I'll send you. I don't have many, but I'll send you. Once again, what's the size? I'm gonna put it right there on the, on the, on the screen. It's eight millimeter metric by 20. All right, guys, don't forget that. I also carry this tool, which I forgot to mention. It's a wrench half. It's a half, as you can see. You see that? All right, super easy once again. Check this out, look. Bam, and we're done. Easy. One thing I've never mentioned and I've noticed other DJs have not mentioned, this is crucial guys, very important information I'm giving you. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. All right guys, when you open your Serato, your Serato, everything else has to be closed up. Your internet has to be shut down, your Bluetooth shut down, uh, whatever application you have on, on your computer, shut it down. The only thing that should be on should be your Serato, trust me. It only should be Serato. Something happened to me at another event. It was years, years ago before I learned that it had to be just Serato and not other applications on. I don't remember what happened. I think, I think it froze or something, remember? Something like that happened. I don't remember, it was so many years ago. But don't forget, always have Serato. Everything else has to be closed. I'm gonna show you guys when it comes to the QSCs and you have a sub, you have to change the, the settings in the back. Check this out. I'm gonna show you once again, guys. All right, check this out. You go to line A, then line B, then you keep going right there. It says no sub, you click on it, you go down, you leave it at 100 hertz, you click on it, there we go, it's at 100 hertz. When you carry your sub, you wanna change the, the, the... You see, you see, you see I go blank. Once again, this is why I don't share the, the videos. You gotta change the settings in the back. I got the sub down there, so what I did, I connected, from my NS7, I went to the sub. From the sub, I connect to the highs. Trust me, I asked the sound engineer and he told me the best option would be from your sub to your highs. So don't forget to also change the settings in the back. I don't know if this applies to Electro Voice or other speakers, I have no idea. But for QSC, you got this option. Trust me, you wanna change it to 100 hertz. Compare it, you're gonna, be, you're gonna hear a huge difference. All right guys, I'm gonna continue, we gotta go. Now it's mic check, watch. I'm gonna show you a little discrepancy. Oh, I just realized right now, watch. Hit me, one, two, microphone check, check. microphone check. check. The bad thing, the bad thing about it, the main table is over there. Watch, as I get closer, as I get closer to the main table, watch, you're gonna hear? I don't know if it's gonna catch it. Ah, oh, little pops. So, so most likely you're gonna be talking, talking from here. here. My, My setup, setup is all the way over there. Somewhere over there. So, so that sounds great. great. It, it does sound good, but honestly, I'm, saying, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell the, the people, the bride and the groom. So the speeches should be over here, right there. Watch, let's try it out. Microphone check. One, two, one, two, three. There you go. It sounds much better. They would they would prefer to do it from right there. 
from right there, but the microphone is not gonna be, I don't have the best microphone, I know, I know, it works. Trust me, it works like I've always said in my video, but yeah, best option is gonna be right there. So yeah, what we try to do to find the best frequency, she's over there, as you can see, oh, over there, somewhere over there, she, she puts the volume up, and if it doesn't sound great, we change it, watch, put the volume up, watch. Right there, so yeah, you don't you don't want the couple standing right here, right next to the speaker, because you're gonna get that feedback. So watch, put the volume up where it was. There, you're not getting that feedback. So the best option would be right here for them to be doing the speeches, facing everybody that way. All right, just keep trying with your wireless microphones, guys. Keep trying. There's different channels you can try. So all you can do is just try. Yesterday, I actually brought out the sub, the, the speaker, my bad, the speaker and the speaker stand. And I did this for you once again so I can save time and have this, uh, so I can have time to do the gig logs for you guys. Look, check this out. This is what I did. I pre-wired everything. Everything's already zip tied. So when I got here, all I did, all I did is just run the cable through the scrim, through the scrim, ran it, plug, 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 and that's all. I didn't have to deal with one cable at a time. Once again, this is for you guys. Another little tip I'm gonna give you. I've seen some of your guys' videos, probably not true, but you know, other DJs. When, when it comes to the scrim, sometimes I've seen it all saggy. Like it does not look right. So what my wife does, watch. I'm gonna show you once again, guys, what my wife does. She pulls it up, she pulls it up. So it can be straight. She, pulled, she puts the zip tie as she's holding it up there. And you just cut it. So simple. So simple, take pride in your work, guys, seriously. I've seen so many DJs with wires. I'm always bringing this up, it really bothers me. I take pride, if you don't see pride right here in my face, hey, I don't know what pride is. Bam, one hour and a half later, we're fully set up, and that's including me doing the gig log. We have half an hour to kill. All right, guys, as you can see, I brought one QSC KS118, trust me, this sub is more than enough for this, uh, Venue no house. Sorry. You see once again messing up messing up But like I said regardless this uh, gig log is still gonna go up. All right guys. I have the totems right there I bought these earlier this year. You know what these totems are from Rockville I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't touch these at all. I don't set them up. My wife does that's how easy they are to set up She even set, set, sets up the moving head on top. She cleans everything up. That's how easy it is The wife does it check this uh, new facade. I bought I was actually inspired by DJ apocalypse and DJ bright eyes. I <clears throat> I saw them uh, they purchased it and I really, really liked it. The thing is, you can also fold it more in so it can look more like a square, but I really like this look. Especially the, the what is it called, the screen right here. I love that, it reminds me of back in the 90s in the in the, the clubs, back in the 90s, that's what it reminds me of. But yeah, all right, check this out. Like, like I said, the scrim is not saggy. It's nice and pulled up tight. Yes, I brought the fog machines. I know it's a wedding. We shouldn't be bringing out the fog machines, but the client wanted the fog machines. I also gave them the option of bringing the sub because 90% of the time, they, the neighbors call the cops because of the sub. The bass travels and that's what annoys the people. But he said, no, nah, no, nah, bring the sub. I want bass. So I brought it out tonight. <sighs> all right, the... Um, the lights are up there. I showed you how to screw them on. Very, very simple. I have them pointing upwards because for the video, for you guys. All right, let me take you towards the back of my setup. Look, clean and presentable. You don't see cables everywhere. All right, once again, I'm carrying my NS7, my NS7 III. I said uh, uh, I upgraded pretty much 80% of my system, my DJ equipment, but the 20% would be the and a seven and the and the MacBook. You know what? I have a question for you guys. I was gonna buy the latest MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, but I was told that if I purchase the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, I'm gonna have to downgrade operating systems. But that's the whole point of upgrading computer, right? Not to downgrade. So I really appreciate it if you guys can help me out. There's nothing else that I wanna purchase but a MacBook Pro. That's all I'm gonna be using. I cannot trust any other laptop. If you're looking to purchase a new laptop, go with a, uh, MacBook Pro. Trust me, I know it's a little bit more, but it's not gonna let you down. This computer has never let me down, never, never. Well, except for that one time I left the applications running in the back and it screwed things up. 
But besides that, what a great computer. I got my microphone cable with the wireless microphone right there. We already tested them out, sounds great. All right, guys, let's see what happens. Wish me luck. All right, guys, your boy is looking beautiful. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm just looking sexy, you know? Not too much, but yeah, you hear that? Soft, nice, relaxed music in the background. As you can see, there's nobody here yet. So, I'm just dropping lines. As you can hear, you don't want nothing hype, nothing crazy. No, relax, relax. It's a wedding, chill. They were supposed to email me a list of the padrinos that I'm gonna be announcing, but they probably forgot, which is okay. I know it. They got so much, so many things going on. They forgot to email me this whole list. I usually like to have this list one or two, three days, and actually one week before, so I can practice all the names and get it right. They literally just handed me this right now. Don't stress, guy. Hey, if you're professional, you know, you can handle it. So don't worry. Don't stress. You can stress, but don't show it. The best part has arrived. I need all of you on your feet. And with your loudest behavior, I want you to welcome Mr. and Mrs. De La Torre. I get to choose who I'm going to give this good life to. Who will ride with me, Right now, let's sit back, let's chit chat, let's create some memories. Those tacos are ready, los tacos ya están listos. Continuación, Jonathan y Jasmine bailarán su, bailarán su primera canción como marido y mujer. Up next, we have Jonathan and Jasmine. They'll be dancing their first song as a married couple. Let's give them a round of applause.
en 3, 1, 2, 3. Ah, se la creyeron. Ah, ok, nuevamente. 1, 2, 3. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed <coughs> up. I took a little restroom break. My wife took over. Let's see what's going on. Wow, this party got started as soon as I dropped the hot track. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. I can already see them bouncing around. If you're not into, uh, if you don't really do Hispanic parties, you definitely need this one right here. Caballo Dorado. <laughs> As you can see, we finished the night, but all right, check this out. This is the uh, KS118 QSC. Look how it finished. It was literally in the beginning, throughout the night, we were adjusting, adjusting, but throughout the night, uh, when we began the event, the sub was straight. Look how it finished. 
This thing bangs hard, really, really hard. But yeah, I don't know what's up with the QSC. I don't know why it turned off. Um, All right, guys, you're headed from the bride and groom. What a great wedding. But if you want to be a DJ, really think about it. It's a lot of work. As you can see, like I said, you're the first ones in and you're the last ones out. Look around. Yeah, we're one of the last ones out. But hey, see you next gig. Don't forget, the more you practice, the better you get. Listen to that again. The more you practice, the better you get. I'm out.